Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of Bulls in a Bar. Uh, the King is back. I've, I've, I was away for a few weeks. I, I wanted to see if the boys could stand on their own two feet, but they obviously couldn't. So I'm back, and I'm back. I'm back for good now. Uh, first things first, boys. The Wire. Yeah, good game, wasn't it? Um, good day out for all the boys. Uh, red hot day. Uh, yeah, it was just good to test yourself against the Super League side. I know the the result one one we wanted, but you know, all the boys give a dig for eight minutes. So yeah, happy days. Yeah, I think good learning curve for us, isn't it? You know, they were. Uh, a real top class opposition, good players. Uh, I think we learned a lot from it. And to be fair, I don't, I don't think the scoreline reflected the game. I just think they had they had a good spell at first half where they pumped a lot of points. You know, but aside from that, I thought we I thought we held us own. We got back in the game, and I thought it was a good performance and one we can be massively proud of. Yeah, definitely. We started really well. Um, we've spoken about our starts this year, and we've, we've had a, a few poor starts. And to uh, to to go back and forward like we did against against the top three Super League team was um. It was awesome, but it's just, since they got the ball in their hands, they were, they were just too good, weren't they? They were just yeah. too fast, too big, too skillful. <laughs> and, went, and on a dry pitch as well, they were just, it was just so fast, wasn't it? Yeah, super quick. But um, one, one big thing about, about the weekend was um, that I could see from the stands was the fans. And I don't know what it was like for you on the field. You were down on the field most of the time. Yeah, but they, were, they were just non-stop, weren't they? Even when it was like 40-odd nil, they were just loud, loud and proud like all the time. So. Credit to them, you, 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 can't, you can't buy fans like that, can you? Just the, the passion and love for it is just unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah atmosphere of quality, you know what I mean? The 2000 odd Bradford fans there. Uh, when you're on pitch, all you could hear were Bradford fans singing, you couldn't hear that Warrington fans are also. You know, it, it kept us pushing, it kept us going for 80 minutes and just. Uh, I think some, some Warrington fans started like singing something and then you just seen all our fans just like, oh, my God. <laughs> just, like just like hammering them, so. I think they um, they shut up pretty quickly. It was it was, it was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got a few questions from the fans. You've taken your mask off already. You're already over it's it. Team, man. <laughs> um, a, a fan question: If we had to play another Super League side, who who would you have picked? Uh, I'd have said Catalan and Way. One for the trip. You know, <laughs> nice summer. Well, yeah, I've decent. Played there before. I like playing there. And you know, like Yorkshire, I reckon. You know. Could have been, we could have been there, they could have been there for taking, so yeah, I'd have chose them. Yeah, nice. I like, uh, I like the Leeds, got a few mates. Oh, yeah, there. that'd be a doozy. Got a few mates there, and obviously, it's a derby, isn't it? It's, you know, it's the one derby that I, I want to play, um, and certainly for Bradford, so yeah, Leeds would be, would be a dream match. Yeah, nice. I might have to just say Huddersfield for now, just after the weekend, and, <laughs> and um, you know, I reckon it'd be a tight game, I can go alright, so yeah. yeah, probably Huddersfield for me. Uh, boys, we're going to have a chat about this week. We've got Doncaster, top of the, ta- top of the table clash. It's going to be a big one this week. What do you reckon? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a good game, you know. It'd be, it'd be a tough game. I've played Doddy many times. Um, <coughs> know a few lads who play at Doncaster. And, uh, like John was telling us, you know, the wild judd wild side. You know, they've got some tough forwards, you know. Like myself, I know they've got, got some, some Hull boys coming back. Yeah, they'll have some Hull boys dropping. There's talk of Joe Weston were playing, but, you know, that might upset the dynamic. But. It'll be a tough game, but I'm confident that the boys can go there and take away two points, yeah. I'm excited, yeah, I'm excited, mate. It'll be a good, be a good real hit out for us. Well, you've been rested this week, haven't you? Yeah. We've rested you because that, that was the type of game that you, know, you didn't really need to play. We need you yeah, for this week, don't we? That's what he said, so fingers crossed, hopefully. We're all, all boys will be, will be firing on, on all cylinders, so it's going to be a real good game. And you know, if, it, if everyone can get down there and you know, have a look, it's going to be another, it's going to be like a York, I think it's going to be a real good uh, advert for for League One, but hopefully we can, you know, we can, we can come away with two points and, and go top of the league and, and pull away from from a rival. That's it, eh? That's it. A rival. Well, mate, I think if we just start the way that you guys started on the weekend yeah. against the Y, I'm sure if we just go back and forth, what were your completion rate? It's something like 100 percent, 100 percent first yeah. half, which is ridiculous. If if we can complete like that, I'm sure um, not too many teams will go over us, but it's just up to us, isn't it? Yeah. Um, boys, do you have any pre-match rituals? I don't have any rituals. You bang your head against the wall, I so you bang your head against the wall now and then slapping yourself and... I wait, I, I wait till bang on half an hour before warm up, then I start to get changed. I don't do nothing before then. I just sit there and listen to music. No donuts or anything? Nah, nah, nah. Nothing, nothing before then includes the week. <laughs> <laughs> I just relax. I rest until half an hour before kick-off. Then, and then you yeah. just get on, eh? Yeah, then I prepare, yeah. do, you, do you stretch your back? Because there's a lot of this on the field. There's a lot of this kicking up the crowd like this. <laughs> Yeah, very loose shoulders. <laughs> I can't even lay my hands up that high. <laughs> what about you, lad? Me? Uh, I chill out, man. I just like to chill out, listen to a bit of music and that. You know, just I pray and get for a game. Like I can't, I can't really do that sitting still. 
You, uh, you get up and like, yeah, you start yelling at people. You know, yeah, you always start, yells, start shouting. You start like, we're going to do this, uh, this and this and this. And everyone's sitting there going, far out, bro. Do you know what? We've got half an hour to work playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on, that's me, yeah. You really, yeah. Man, I'm, just I'm a chill. You're just full of energy. You're, you're pretty chilled, aren't you? Yeah, to I just... To be fair, you're, you're like a... <laughs> Like a you who's calmness. Yeah. Among, among I try to just look at him and he just, just so relax, so laid back. Yeah. I know, maybe I should get pumped up a little bit more and see if that changes this week. I don't know, maybe you go alright, right, <laughs> Um what's the most I know your one, this is gonna be good. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened on a field? You've started with my favourite yeah. story ever. Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> we all know mine, um, when the goose chased me at Keefley. <laughs> yeah, I ended up running away from a goose on a pitch, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Away from the goose, right? yeah, that's mine anyway. Yeah. <laughs> What's yours? Just playing the game? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, what are we talking about? No, I'm kidding. Uh, mine. Ooh, most embarrassing. I don't really know. Uh, I don't think oh, massively embarrassing. Oh, there was that one. To be fair, this season, you know, when I was trying to score that try against Oldham, oh, I couldn't yeah, reach you just reaching out. Was that when the dude just sat the ball? Yeah, I just all that, I just couldn't reach. So that was pretty embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> It's not so much embarrassing things on the field, because when you're on the field you don't really care yeah, too much, not, do you? You're not that bothered. I don't, I don't embarrass that easy, to be yeah. fair, because you know, I'm a pretty, pretty embarrassing person anyway, so... Uh, no, I don't really embarrass easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm the same. I was, I was going to say the two yellow cards the other week, but it wasn't really embarrassing, it just annoyed me. Yeah, it's not embarrassing. It's annoying. No, it's embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's not embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Don't be um, if, you, if you guys could play with any former ball, who would it be? It's a tough one because there's been like so many greats playing for this club. Um, probably Big Lesby. Are you going to say that? Because you think you're him. Nah, I wish you I was. You think you're him in the middle? He, he, he wants to play on the wing. He wants to play on the wing. He's so fast. <laughs> in turn, he should sit right. If, we, if we have, everyone has to drop back, perhaps he's like, I'll go wing. I'll go wing. Yeah. Depends on the wing, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would he will put. Even Les or Tavita back corner, them, them two of my favourite players as a little kid, so... Is that because they can return a ball and you'd have to walk as far after the kick? Well, yeah, mate, just, just to be on the pitch and watch them a bit. All that resting out from all the, when they score tries, you just yeah. rest, just walk back and rest. Sweet, yeah. What about you, then? Me, uh, I reckon in his prime, probably Stuart Fielding. Yeah. I think in his prime, he's just untouchable, you know, and, and certainly one of the best, if not the best front rower in yeah. the world, it, 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 when he went pick of his powers. Uh, so, yeah, probably, probably him. I'd, I'd go Robbie. Put me in, oh. put me in the turbo in the halves. <laughs> we just, we'd just shred, we'd shred together. His brain and my, I don't know what I'm going to bring. His, his brain, his yeah. skills. Yeah. I'll just back him up. Oh, Pelt, um, who's always late to oh. training. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. I'm, yeah, I'm not, not good with time. Who was late today? Oh, oh some were late today actually. So yeah, I was, I was on time. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. uh, what else we got? Oh, um, who is the worst dressed in our? You know, who's yeah. the worst, who's the best? You don't have to say best, I'm up there. Yeah, I'd, the worst, I'd give it to Dickie. Okay. Uh, best, probably Gibbo. Gibbo's yeah. always looking oh, good. Gibbo's yeah. Yeah. always I best. I was at Nando's, right, and like Clotless, a Clotless bloke over there, I thought, but good looking bloke him over there, too. Right? Tickle Jack, turn around, turn around, Gibbo, I thought, what, what, you know what I mean? No, I don't know, no, I don't know, what are you talking about? I don't know about that, but yeah. Good time, isn't it? Well, yeah. Alright, you probably want to know why we're wearing all these these masks. But um Oh what are the details on the mask grade ball? Fourth of May. Fourth of May, we have a fourth be with you. National Star Wars Day. I know. Oh, Get you down. Can we wear um can we wear Star Wars masks? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I'll come as R2 D2. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 Chili. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, May the fourth, we got Masquerade Ball. Um, get your tickets up at the up, up at the office or get them online. And um, that's about up, that's it from us. Don't we? We've got training now, so uh, make sure you get down to Doncaster. It's going to be a, um, a massive top of the table clash, and um, hopefully come over the two points. But thanks for tuning in, everyone. Oh, <laughs> thank you, and um, we'll see you next week. <laughs>